Oh, very nice meeting. Did uh, Rob tell you that I gave him a 1946 Blue Jackets manual? Yes, it's in the display. Okay, yes, you yes. can all uh, can I get your attention. Can you hear me okay back there, Chuck? Can you hear me? Laura, can you hear me back there? Okay. Oh, really? You can't hear me, Todd? Okay, now, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, uh, first of all, thank you for uh, all of you coming out. And uh, if we can all stand and say the pledge. Uh, those wearing caps, uh, take your caps off, put them over your heart, and uh, repeat after me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. That's some diesel power out there. First, first of all, thank you very much. You know, it, uh, it's very special that you all come out here because it's a special occasion because we're honoring the fallen, uh, as you all well aware. Um, a bunch of us went out to the cemetery uh, on uh, Saturday and we placed flags. The history of Memorial Day actually started after the Civil War. And it was a, a Declaration Day where people would go to their, their cemeteries, clean off the gravestones, and honor the, the fallen. And that's how it was started. Uh, it's a really good tradition. And uh, started in 1868. And then up until 1971, that recent, at least for a, many of us, that recent. <laughs> uh, the, uh, in 1971, uh, they switched it, Congress switched it to be the last or the fourth Monday of the month. It used to be May 30th prior to that. So the important part is, those of you that went out there, I was, first of all, I was honored to plant the flags in honor of, of the veterans. and. I could not believe we have almost 50 veterans in our cemetery up here. And uh, it's amazing. 61. 61. And then we found five that were not. Counting. Oh, really? So that's 65? 66. 66? And you know the other thing? There were World War I veterans there, which was amazing. So um, we have history here, and as a lot of you know, I mean, I'm a newcomer. I've only been here five years uh, full time here on the island, and a lot of you have been there. I know I look at Lee a long time. Uh, I meant that, you know, uh, with kindness, okay? But uh, the, um, the other reason why Congress in 1971 passed the law as far as being uh, sorry yes oh yeah okay. the uh, in 1971 the reason why Congress uh, passed the law that allowed us to have Memorial Day is so that it would also because it's a federal holiday it will allow the families to get together and uh, honor this day of our fallen service members. And yeah, you know, people say, well, okay, it's a day off and it's a Monday, and, but the, the intent, the true intent, is to honor the fallen service members. And with that, what I'd like to do is have a prayer uh, by our chaplain, Wayne. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we ask your blessings on our friends and loved ones gathered here. We thank you for this opportunity to share with them this special occasion to honor our fallen, vet fallen veterans on this Memorial Day. Let us always honor the memory of those brave soldiers 
who gave the supreme sacrifice so we may experience freedom in a country where freedom is not free. Heavenly Father, keep their families in your kind care. Bless them and comfort them in their time of sorrow. Let them be reminded of life, liberty, justice, freedom, and democracy, that we may be ever grateful to you for those comrades who gave so much for their country. We ask your blessings on this service in your son's name. Amen. Amen. Recover. Thank you, Dwayne. So, besides paying homage to our fallen service members, one of the things that, uh, if you noticed on the main flagpole right outside the general store, we fly the um, POW MIA flag. And uh, a lot of people don't understand that that is authorized to fly six times during the year. Uh, unless you're like work for the VA, they can fly it 24 seven. But the intent of that flag uh, in 1972, uh, the National League of POW MIA families uh, came up with, they wanted to come up with a symbol to honor those POWs and MIAs uh, that were unaccounted for uh, during the Vietnam War. And uh, so in August of 1990, that's fairly recent if you think of the, the events, uh, Congress passed a law that uh, allowed that the flag that you see be flown uh, at least six times during the year. And, um, and that is to recognize that even though the, some of the remains have come back and there is actually a department uh, in the government that actively go, goes out and seeks graves and works with different countries in, uh, in, in getting back the remains of our service members. And uh, if you notice the motto is that you are not forgotten uh, is, is very important to the full intent of that flag. And you know, we all look at flags in a different way. Uh, some of us understand our American flag and what it stands for, and it's more than just a piece of cloth, but it, it stands for all those who have died and who, and who have given themselves to include their families, because it's a family sacrifice also uh, for this nation and for what we stand for. And that's very important to, uh, to understand. So one of the things before I close, what I'd like to do is I'd like each individual to stand up and introduce themselves. I know it, it's kind of unusual to do that, but I, I, I have to tell you this. The fact that you're here on such an important day means something. It means something to all of us that are here. And I, I, would, I would definitely like you to stand up. You don't have to say anything. Just stand up and just you know, introduce yourself. And uh, if we could start with you, sir. Well, hi, my name is Jason Wazorek. Um, I'm a veteran. I was in the Navy and the Air Force. This is my father and mother here. Hi, I'm Barbara Knutson, wife of the veteran. Al Parker, my wife, Deborah Parker. Uh, Rick McPherson, I'm the communications officer for the Post. I'm Lee Shaw, I'm Sergeant at Arms for the Post. Dwayne Evers, <laughs> Chaplain. <laughs> Aaron Reynolds. <coughs> Vivian Skagerberg. I'm Cindy Anders, and my dad was Bill Denny, who was a World War II veteran and one of the founding members of this post. Right. And Chaplain. Arlene Holmes, U.S. Army Medical Corps, 22 years of service. Grandfather was on the Great White Fleet SS Connecticut. Teddy Roosevelt from the Show of Force to Asia. My father was head of the Motion Picture School for the Signal Corps in World War II. I'm Sandy McPherson. Carol Chan. 
Terry Slate. Adrian Morton. Mike Dickover, member of the post and uh, former Navy Air Betty Purry, this is Teddy Purry. <laughs> uh, died three months ago, and so I'm still in the grieving situation, but thank you everybody. It's really good to be here. Thank you, Betty. I'm Amy Sovereign. My dad's been Purry. He was in the Navy, and then my husband's um, grandfather who did two missions in World War II, which is pretty unheard of. It's pretty uh, over in Italy. Gary Smith. Dad was a Marine uh, in the uh, Korean War, uh, in China Landing, in Frozen Shows, in there with Dick Fromm. And then my stepdad was Ralph Persani. I'm Ray Moore. I'm the historian. <coughs> oh, my Billy. Uh, my dad was in the army. Uh, Joe Martin. I have a uncle who was a pharmacist mate with the Marines in World War One. Friends. My dad was in the army in World War Two. My father in law was a Navy aviator, but retired. I was in the army, Coast Guard, and now finally the Navy. Never been in the Air Force, but I have seen it all again. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I have uh, a daughter in the Army and a son in the Navy. Uh, Bill Spear, retired Army Vietnam veteran, 30 years of service, over 30 years of service. Daryl Beck, retired Navy uh, Vietnam vet. Carl Todd, service officer for American Legion, Air Force. Uh, from 58 to 62. Dave Jacobson, I was in the Air Force. Paul Smith, first vice commander. I'd say, I'm not sworn in yet. Andy Knudsen, second vice commander, post 265. All right, well, thank you very much. Um, and you are? I'm Jim Cook, uh, 34 years in the Army. My father was on Omaha Beach, all the campaigns in Korea and the first part of Vietnam. Infantry. So thank you very much for doing that because it's a really amazing, especially the, the young folks, and I can use that term young, as opposed to I feel like I'm like middle age. <laughs> but um, so, so thank you very much and I hope if you haven't been to the cemetery to take a trip up there, um, it's really amazing. It's, it's just, I mean, you, you think an island this small doesn't have a really good cemetery. This is a beautiful cemetery and just uh, read the gravestones. Uh, it, breathe, it really, uh, it may, it's a humbling experience, a humbling experience. So what I'd like to do is a final prayer. Um, you can stay seated. On this Memorial Day, 
we pray for those who paid the ultimate sacrifice for our cause of liberty, life, and the pursuit of happiness. May their acts of courage set the example of selfless service to preserve our belief of humanity, God, and country. Finally, bless the families of our fallen and never forgotten service members and fill their lives with strength, peace, and closure. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jeff.